Oh snap, here it is. The pyramid head figure I've been waiting for from Mezco. I haven't even taken it out of the box yet. So I'm pretty excited. Oh, we already lost something. That's everything. Get rid of this bubble wrap. Shipping info. Ba bam! Look at that. Ba bam! Oh, we got a bonus. Little pumpkin head guy. It's always a nice little treat. A little mezzet. This is thick in there. Let's get this the bad boy opened. Kinda wanna salvage that sticker, that orange sticker. In the past they used to put oh, I ripped it. They used to put stickers on the bubble tape. And I could take it off and reuse it, but they stopped doing that. I don't know why. I had a couple of them, too. Oh! Look at that. Enamel pin. That looks pretty cool, actually. I'm digging that. I got, oh, we got a bunch of stickers. Happy Halloween. Witching you a happy Halloween. Oh, there's dynamite in it. And then, if you don't have a costume, don't lose your head. LOL, you know what I'm saying? Coming <laughs> up this little Mezzet guy. Little Mezzet pumpkin. Dang, do I need scissors for this? They don't put a little knot. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's like, yeah, they do. Oh, it's the skull Mezzet. But he's got a mask. So it's, I don't know if you've seen these before. Little skull guy. But now he's got a little mask. Very pliable rubber. My viewfinder is reversed, so I'm trying to line it up properly. It's going to be a theme throughout this video, I'm sure. Get a little machete esque knife there. I'll call him the Pumpkin Carver. Is that a cool name? Look at that. It's pretty fun. Whoa! I'm really good at dropping stuff. Um, so hopefully that doesn't become a theme. Red pyramid thing? Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. They put, um... I don't know if you can see that. Well, let me take it out of the bag first. I mean, everybody called him pyramid head, but... I guess some people would say... Red pyramid thing. It's a really nice box. Let me move the camera back so we can get the whole thing in there. Now oh, you can see it. Red pyramid thing. Look at that. I can smell it. It's fresh. Woo! One thing that did bother me about this, don't need all these bugs. I mean, I get that they were a common swarm of them, I guess, that would attack, but... Oh, blood effects for figures, instructions, blood effects for sword, the sword blade, the half scissor, as I remember it from the first game. Alright, here we go. Yeah, I'm going to change the camera angle. Hold on a second. Alright, look at that. We got the blood effects. Let's get this bad boy opened. Fresh out of the box. Look at the detail on that pyramid. Oh, the brain stuff. That always grossed me out. It's like walnuts. So, before I even pose it, I mean, the details are pretty amazing. The soft goods, it's wired. That's already like awesome. You know, Mezco is going to do the wired stuff and the soft goods when they can. So that's all wired. Those those muscle details. Oh, that looks like a double elbow. Double joint. Yep. There we go. Let's look underneath here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 16 times the detail. Let's get my light over here. 
Look at that. Some pretty awesome details there. Yeah. Whoa! I already can tell that posing this guy is going to be pretty amazing. Look at that kick. He's already going in for the kick. Why isn't this centering the focus? I hate... I'm not good at this. Okay. Look at that. Look at that hip kick. Whoosh. He's flying in, going in for a kick. Right to the skull. The helmet might get in the way. But, I mean, look at that. We got some serious posability here, folks. They're not messing around. They know what they're doing. Ooh, he's got a blood stain right on the groin. Careful there, I don't want to rip anything. The boots. Do they pivot? Oh, we got an ankle pivot. A little bit of a swivel. I don't know why I'm having focus on you, but look at the details on that boot. Look at that buckle. It's textured. This is looking great. Let's get that head off of there. Oh! Why did I do that in the first place? Look at the detail on that. That's amazing. Now, I know a lot of people like head swapping. This is going to be a great figure to head swap. Actually, I got my hood's vapor right here. Let's see what he looks like. Does it fit? Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's pretty silly, but you know what? It's kind of fun. That's going to be fun to put different head swaps on there. Fits too, like perfectly. Sometimes the, peg are di the pegs are different size, the ball peg. Alright, let's take out the other pyramid. So many bags. Oh wow, look at that. So this is like the more... What, what is it? There's like two of them that spawn at, towards the end of the game or something? Spoiler alert. But look at the detail on that. The textures. You're not going to get any better than that here, folks. And just in time for Halloween. I can't wait to do some stop motions with this. Look at that. Pops right in. That one's pretty cool, but... <clears throat> I definitely prefer the classic look. This one has like a more dystopian future. Retro modern. Whatever you want to call it. I don't know what I'm talking about. But I definitely prefer the other one. Oh, before I do that, I should look at some of these soft goods that I revealed. Very nice leather. Got a zipper there that I'm sure is functional. It is. Oh! Look at that definition he's got back there. I'm not going to go all the way down because it seems like a pain in the butt, but you get the idea. I'm sure he's, his body is very torn out. Now I'm tempted to. No, I'm not going to do it. Okay. But yeah, great soft goods. You can see his ab. Look how messed up he is. Oh! Stay, uh, subscribe to my Patreon if you want to see the full nude. No, I'm just kidding. I don't have that. Um, okay, let's get this back on there. A little pop. So, I mean, obviously it's pyramid head. You're not going to get articulation. You're not meant to get articulation for the head, really. You just kind of get a little bit of swivel. Let's set him back in there for a minute. Look at just a couple of the blood effects here. Beautiful. They're not super stiff. They're pliable. They're a little rubbery. That's definitely a plus. They're not wicked hard, so you don't have to worry about them shattering if you drop them. Very nice looking blood effects. Let's get a better light on there. Let's get a light from behind. Oh, that's not good. Okay, moving on. Let's check out a couple of these bugs. I mean, they're all the same paint app and what have you, but let's see if they have any like special, anything special about them. Nope, they don't. Nope, they're just bugs. A lot of detail, though, if you can see that. I haven't played this game in a very long time. I do remember beating it. And I do remember vaguely that these were a pain in the ass. 
Like he's got a needle in his butt. Um, can you imagine seeing that in person? Can you imagine seeing that in person? <laughs> but yeah, a lot of bugs. Two, four, six, eight, nine. An odd number. How dare they? That's gonna mess with people. I know it. I hate odd numbers. Look at all these hands. One thing I love about Mezco is that all the hands and the heads are usually pretty easy to pop on and off. I've had issues with some being too loose. But there's a good look at the hands. They feel great. They're a little rubbery, which is nice. But look at the detail. Look at the blood. Look at the blood. The holding hands. Look at the blood. That's all we do. All right, let's get to the, the next layer. So this comes with a mannequin, which is kind of cool. I also love that they don't use any tape. Oh, I hate tape so much. No tape, no problem. That's what I always say. One thing, one problem I, I do have is restacking these. Sometimes I, it just takes me forever to get them back the way they were. Like, oh, that one goes on this one. Um, there we go. Mannequin. Not going to get crazy articulation from this. It looks like it just, you know, spin it around. It's got a peg. Um, very basic. Looks like you might be able to move the foot. No. Nah, it's just a side piece, you know. Ooh. Something. Twist them around, get them in different poses. It's mainly to have that guy hold them. Pyramid head, red pyramid thing. Red head, bam, bam, bam. But that is a gnarly booty. Great detail, though. I mean, the paint application is wonderful. Sorry. And then, below that, we have the weapons and some more blood effects. And obviously the stand, which I rarely ever use the stand, but I'll organize all that later. Let's check out these effects and the blood. Effects and the blood. Whoa. This looks rustier. Where's that image? I guess it does look like that. Okay. Look at that. Look at that patina. <laughs> yeah. It does still kind of look like a scissor. I mean, that was the whole gist of it. I think in the, the first game you actually see, like, the, the thumb um, where you put your finger in or thumb in. But I think they just call it the Great Sword because I just looked it up on Wikipedia. But, yeah, it looks good. Slightly bendy, so it's not like a, it's not like it's gonna break in two, which is it's kind of nice that they do that, you know. They're not sometimes some places they make them like rock hard, like NECA's, NECA's stuff like just will break instantly because it's in glued in three pieces. That seems like a full tang knife. All right, this one might get harder to focus. There we go. The great spear. Nothing really to write home about that, but it's cool. And look at all these blood effects. I mean, come on. Good thing I have this, because I don't know where else I'd put them. I like the one that goes around the waist. And the slashing one. And then, just some random. A few random ones, I think. Maybe. But they all look pretty great, and they're all kind of bendy. You don't have to worry about them shattering like a hard plastic. Alright, let's get a pose going. In case you wanted to see the hands being removed, I'll show you that. Oh, they changed it up. Oh no, it's about the same. No, it is kind of different. Usually, looks like they made that piece a little thicker. I mean, it still kind of looks kind of thin. There. If you can, you can kind of see it, but 
Yeah. Pretty easy to take on and off. I'll give him the open hand on this side. This should hold this. You just kind of got to get the rubbery stuff in and over it. There you go. Perfect. Sorry, I don't have the best setup here. It's kind of awkward for me. But, you know what? What can we do? Oh! He's holding it. Oh! Watch out. He's dragging it. It can be a little hard to balance, so I'm using the uh, stand to hold him up. He's he does have this big old head, but it's, it's still pretty light. I think I can get him balanced as long as I... Um, I just gotta work on it, but for the sake of time, I'm just gonna put them in that thing. This is one of the effects. Uh, I can focus it in. Don't be afraid to shove that knife in there, otherwise it's gonna be too loose and it won't stay in place. Do 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 Cool. This effect isn't great because it's kind of loose to get on there. And it's hard to kind of position in a way where it looks legit. Uh, it might be better to get like a sticky tack and just stick the effect onto the figure itself. Let's see here. And in that case, they have a bigger splat I'm going to use. This guy. A little sticky tack. It's probably more than I need. Just kind of. I can't believe I lost to this guy. Um. Ah. Oh boy. Next up, the waste splatter. Let's check it out. Should typically fit around any figure. With this one, We're going to enhance it a little bit by adding this other splatter to the torso to make it look like he's getting mega damage. MEGA DAMAGE! You know what I'm saying? And then, not even more blood. Might as well go all out, you know? So it actually looks like he's cutting them. Definitely gonna take some trial and error. Yeah, this is a great figure. I recommend it. Uh, and then, if you want even more gore, just keep piling it on. You even got this effect over here. Whoa! He's splattering all over the place. Even pyramid, it's like this is too much blood. Look at that. Oh my gosh, he's exploding. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Anyway, you get the idea. Fun stuff. Yeah. Take care. I'm gonna have to practice some more of the posing. This is a great figure. I'm pretty happy with it. What do you think? Let me know what you think. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Peace be with you.